players. Is there a position and the top of the position that has more influence in the world than a quarterback yeah. Yeah. in sports? If he's going to back down, why would anybody else step yeah. out of line and yeah. say anything, knowing that their own teammates are going to crush them because they don't have any courage? The big one that I think is happening and, and the person that you would put up and say, why is nobody else standing up is Drew Brees. Mm. Drew Brees went out on a limb. We'll say out on a limb because I, I can't even believe this is controversial. Till to, still to this day, we'll never understand why saying, quote, I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America or our country. His grandfather fought in wars. Right. He's got a long history of military background. Drew Brees, who Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl winning quarterback, mm-hmm. I think he's been MVP mm-hmm. uh, until Tom Brady played till he was 800, had right, the right, passing right, record. Right, I mean, he's, right. like, he's one of the all-time guys. We'll be a Hall of Famer, no question Absolute about it. First ballot. Late in his career, this isn't rookie Drew Brees. Late in his career, after he's already won Super Bowls, after he's already leading the NFL in tons of categories every single year, he goes out and says that his own teammates go to town on him. Malcolm Jenkins mm-hmm. made a four and a half minute video about yep. how disgusted he was yep. with Drew Brees. And, and his, own, his own guys, uh, Michael Thomas, one of the best receivers in the league, mm-hmm. came out. LeBron James is tweeting about it. You know, it's like uh, Emmanuel uh, Sanders, Ed Reed. Ed Reed, I remember. Ed Reed went to town. you're like, well, Ed Reed made a video. What did he say? He said, I'm paraphrasing here, but it's basically, I'm I see Drew this. Brees is still trying to hold the black folk down. Mm. You're like, okay, so. If Drew Brees, by the way, I, I cannot in good conscience continue to support someone who will cower to the woke mob. And he yeah. did that. Yeah. So, and then he, they tried to have him explain afterwards because he has a social media post where he came out and basically apologized for just not understanding and not knowing. Okay, so I'm all for you, Drew, but also it's like, don't make it clear to me that you actually don't care about what you're saying, you care more about your job at NBC afterwards. So yeah. I, I don't want to know that you, you think Maria Taylor will not approve of what you're saying later. So the, we have that. The other one is uh, Alejandro Villanueva, who did mm-hmm. the same thing. He was an Army Ranger. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't let him, when he was with the Steelers, come out of the locker room, so he said, screw that. And he walked out there with his hand over his heart. And then he backed off even. So one person after the other, there's not, now I don't think Sage has ever backed off, actually. So I brought her up. She's got some serious courage. Yeah. The rest of them, one by one, have gone against the grain and then backed off and said, I'm embarrassed by my actions. That's a quote from Alejandro Villanueva. Yeah. I'm embarrassed by what I did. If you see the people, an army ranger talking about standing up for, your, for, for the flag, and Drew Brees, it, is there, outside of maybe uh, LeBron uh, and certain basketball players, is there a position and the top of the position that has more influence in the world than a quarterback yeah. Yeah. in sports? If he's going to back down, why would anybody else step out of line and yeah. say anything, knowing that their own teammates are going to crush them because they don't have any courage? Yeah, and, and I mean, and, and this is a guy who, you know, obviously gave a lot of money to recovery efforts after Hurricane Katrina, basically put the city on his back, won a Super Bowl, um, beloved in, in that city. And as you said, he folded. And I think, you know, I, I talked about reality. You talked about Drew Brees. Um, I think we have something on Michael Phelps, which, again, really <laughs> hammers this point home because I mean he's the king of swimming so can can we go to that he said I don't know what it looks like in the future it's hard it's very complicated and this is my sport this has been my sport my whole entire career and honestly the one thing I would love is everybody being able to compete on an even playing field now this is a person who knows what it's like to swim at the highest level Mm. and he must know that being a, a biological male confers certain physical advantages. This is not how does a person feel about themselves, it's um, how is a person's body, how does their body function in the water? And Michael Phelps, I mean, the best that he could give was a you know, VP-like answer. Um, Every day is the right day to do the right thing. That, <laughs> and that day is now. Uh-huh. It's like, come on, man. It's, and to your point, one of the reasons why it's so important um, to do what we do here is because um, the courage, courage is just as contagious as fear. Mm. Um, the left is great at using fear and the fear of being canceled, being called a bigot or, or, or transphobe, homophobe, racist, xenophobe. They use that fear to chill speech because they know if someone as you said, sees Drew Brees get his head taken off, then the next guy's a lot less likely 
um, to do that. So, we, I mean, we, we just need a reinvigoration. We need a, a, a B12 shot of courage mm. throughout the culture. As you said, Sage Steele is one of the people who's doing it, but too few are doing it. And I, I think we're seeing um, what that looks like. I mean, just, just think of Drew, Drew Brees is a guy who felt the need to make a statement in support of Jacob Blake, mm. an and, and accused sexual assaulter who fought with the police before he, he, he was shot. Thankfully, he lived. Again, I'm, I, I don't wish ill on anyone. But we're at a point where our sports and, and our athletes, our premier athletes, feel it's a lot easier to stand up in cases like that where everyone is going you know, with, with the crowd than it is to stand up for basic biological reality. And if anyone should know um, how important it is to, to sort of hold to basic bio, biological reality, it's athletes, so. Have yeah. you noticed, and I know we're, we're yeah. wrapping here, but the reason I'm so disappointed in Drew Brees mm -hmm. is because he cracked. You do not make progress if you crack, you actually make it less like the next guy who did have the same courage as you right. now won't do it because you crack. If you didn't crack, then you stand up and give the next person courage to do it. So it yep. works both ways. Yep. It, it's like, okay, you, if you cower, somebody else will, but if you do it, somebody else will as well. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that the turn on this COVID insanity happened when Joe Rogan stood up mm -hmm. and gave everybody the double bird? Yep.